I'm just a guy who loves Disney and has way too much time on his hands. If anybody from Disney is watching, please don't sue me. I'm here to rate, review, and describe all of your favorite things from the magical world of Disney. I'm File91E and welcome to my Disney News and Reviews. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Disney News and Reviews. I'm File91E and a pretty big week for me this week guys, especially for this channel. Uh, no, I'm not monetizing or Disney didn't call me or anything like that, but I'm going back to Disney World officially. Uh, I've been talking about it for the last couple weeks now that we were going to try to get a Disney trip together. Uh, but uh, So we got all of the stuff together and the down payment is in. Uh, so Final Under 1E is going to Disney World on October er, uh, October 1st through the 8th, and uh, it should be pretty fun. Uh, the majority of this trip I plan on just kind of relaxing, and I, I don't plan on going as hard um, as, I, as I went the last couple times. I want to kind of explore and do some fun stuff. I'm not going to take as many cameras this time, um, you know, uh, although I do have a couple of tricks up my sleeve. And uh, I just, I just, I, I just want to have some fun this time. I don't want to have to worry about getting up at five in the morning each and every single day, although I probably wind up will. Uh, but uh, you know, if I want to go back and take a nap, I'm going to go back and take a nap. That's just kind of what I want to do. Uh, but there's also other things I want to try out, like the other restaurants that I have haven't, um, you know, been to before. Other experiences that I haven't been to before down in Disney World. And uh, so, yeah, it's cool. We're staying at the Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa. And um, thanks to Jay Stinson for, you know, you know, for helping us out and, ho and hooking us up. Jay, you're awesome. You uh, really helped me out there. Long time viewer and uh, just a great person all around. And uh, um, he really helped me out there. He came through. And uh, it's one of the cool things about this show is I've met so many people that are just willing to help me out for no reason whatsoever aside from the fact that they just like this show and um, it's just cool it's just it's you know it's it's kind of a cool feeling when you know people offer that um, you know I don't make any money from this I don't want any money from this um, but uh, I won't pass up um, you know some you know some help with going to Disney I definitely won't pass that up so again, thanks Jay for that. So yeah, Final Under One E is going to Disney World with his whole family. Like there's like eight of us going this time, and uh, it's going to be cool. I do plan on also going to Universal for a day, so I might get a bunch of Universal footage, and uh, I might come back and review Universal rides. Again, I can't fit on many Universal rides because I'm a bigger guy. I have I have lost some weight, um, but um, I don't. I still don't think I'm going to be small enough by the time you know the vacation rolls around uh, to get on a lot of the Universal rides. A lot of people go, uh, or find out why don't you get on or go to Universal? Mainly because I just can't experience anything there because it's all set for skinnier people. Well, why don't you lose weight? I'm working on it, but well, let's not get into that. So yeah, I'm officially going to Disney. Excellent stuff. I'm really excited. Uh, we're starting actually Foodie February. Um, I kind of reviewed all of the different restaurants that I went to at Disneyland and Disney World. So I have an idea for this month um, and that's to preview a lot of the uh, restaurants that I want to uh, go down and try to experience or at least go into uh, when I go to Disney World next time. So I have about 16 different experiences that I want to try to run in. You know, again, I'm not going to sit down and eat at every four or five star restaurant, but I do want to run into a couple of these and uh, you know see what they're all about. And I so I, I figured out a way to rank my excitement for you know for that. So that's what this month or, or this year's Foodie February will be. And next year I will actually start reviewing the things that I. Um, you know, previewed here and uh, see if they live up to the expectation. So, you know, you know, we'll, we'll just have to see. Then we got uh, Merchandise March is coming up as well. So um, I do plan on doing a giveaway again. Uh, so um, if you have any ideas for different uh, bits of Disney merchandise that you uh, would like to see me review or anything like that, just uh, post in the comments section below and uh, maybe I can get to them. So, yeah, that's what's been going on with me this week. Let's get right to the news. Thank <laughs> you. 
We're working on getting to springtime and Disney has released information on this year's Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. Uh, new food kiosks and the like have been added this year. Also, Disney has released the performer lineup for the Garden Rocks concert series. That's all part of the uh, uh, Flower and Garden Festival. Uh, acts including the Village People, the Gin Blossoms, and Night Ranger are just some of the ones that are scheduled. Uh, for the full list of what's scheduled, uh, follow the links below. Epcot's 2016 International Flower and Garden Festival will begin on March 2nd, running through to May 30th. Up seventy five, up from seventy five days to ninety days. So they're trying to make it, I think, a, a food and wine festival springtime edition, that sort of thing. Uh, so that's really neat. So I'll put you know, follow the links below, and you'll be able to, you know, see what this year's uh, flower and garden festival are uh, is all about. Club Disney, which opened in the new multi-use sunset showcase at Disney's Hollywood Studios, is moving to seasonal-only operation from next week on. The final day of regular operation will be Saturday, February 6th, which I'm probably, probably today, if you're watching this today, uh, from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. That'll be the last full day. Uh, the, Cl the, the Club Disney Character Dance Party opened on December 1st in Sunset Showcase near the Rock and Roller Coaster. Sunset Showcase is also home to a hard ticket event, Club Villain, uh, which is set to continue in that space. So they're not t totally stopping it, but I, it's not becoming a full featured thing, which I don't understand why they don't do that because half of um, Hollywood Studios is gone. So. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, thanks to the uh, Star Wars land and uh, Toy Story land upgrades. So yeah, it's going to be a while when Hollow Studios doesn't exactly have the full giant repertoire it once had. The Boneyard Playground at Disney's Animal Kingdom is scheduled for a refurbishment later this month. This, the closure begins on February 22nd through to March 17th. We're opening to guests on March 18th, so uh, yeah, keep that in mind. And finally, the beach poolside at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort will be closing for refurbishment later this month. Work begins on February 8th through to February 28th, reopening to guests on the leap year day, February 29th. During the closure of the pool, uh, pool slide, pool slide, uh, the pool area will remain open to guests. You just can't, you know, slide. So, yeah. So there's the news for this week. I did go to to, to check out uh, the Disneyland news. It's the same stuff. Frontierland is pretty much shut down because of the Star Wars Land stuff. They're up, you know, you know they're updating the Autopia and everything. All the stuff that I've mentioned, you know, in the weeks leading up uh, to this. So nothing new. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. So check out Mice Chat for those if you want to read all, you know, more about that. Uh, so yeah, that's the news for this week. Let's get right to the reviews. All right, guys. Now, like I said in the uh, in the opening, uh, this is Foodie February, and I plan on this is you know the month where I like to talk about restaurants in Disney World or Disneyland rather. Uh, now, I've already reviewed all of the restaurants that I've been to in Disney World or Disneyland, and uh, I just kind of don't you know I had no idea what I was planning on doing, but I had a list of things that I of restaurants that I wanted to uh, or food experiences. You know, the, you, know, you know, that I wanted to attend while down in Disney World. Uh, you know, for instance, the Food and Wine Festival, some of the, you know, the, like the, the Wishes Dessert Party, that sort of stuff. Just different things that I can do down there and it'll, it'll, it'll give me something to review here. Um, so, plus, I, I, I never go to a lot of these restaurants that I want to go to. And because this is my kind of vacation vacation, Disney vacation, even though I'm still going to be working and getting you guys footage... Um, I want to do stuff that I want to do, and uh, I think part of that is actually going to some Disney restaurants, which are just, I, you know, from what I hear, fantastic. So what I plan on doing is uh, for, I want to give you like, I have, uh, you know, 16 lined up. There's four weeks in February, so every week I want to give you four, uh, you know, restaurant experiences that I'm going to, you know, potentially enjoy. I'm going to talk about them, what, you know, what they are, where they're located. Um, what Disney says they are on their website, what the Disney book says, these guys, the unofficial guide to Disney. And, um, you know, just give you some other stuff and then end with my excitement level. Uh, I, it's basically the same thing out of five, but I gave you a little animated meter so you guys can see because it's extra fancy. So yeah, 
you'll get the idea as I, you know, as we go along. So here are the four things that I want to, uh, you know, talk about. Now these are in no particular order. You'll probably find that they're in alphabetical order. Some of these because I went just basically just went down the list and said, I want to go there, I want to go there, I want to go there. Okay, so, so the first thing I want to experience, hopefully while down there, is the crossroads at the House of Blues. Now this is located in Disney Springs on the west side, and what Disney says it is, is this restaurant, uh, this restaurant and live music club serves up southern and global flavors for lunch and dinner and a soulful, soulful Sunday brunch. Now the book right here, the unofficial guide, didn't really say too much. They gave it three stars. They have a decent review of it in there, but they kind of went and rambled on about stuff. Uh, the main features of this is that this has a kind of a, bro this is broken up into like three or four different places. You got a restaurant, a live music hall, a smokehouse where they have like all kinds of, this is, this is new, the smokehouse, and then an outside bar, which is pretty cool. They also, like they said, have Sunday brunch, which uh, is, you know, nice for some people. Um, now the reason why I chose this place is we were going to go down there. We we're going down there and have, we we're going to have a family dinner in a Disney restaurant, and uh, this was the place that we kind of settled on because it wasn't in, in either of the parks because not everybody is going to the same parks on the same day. This is in Disney Springs. We can just take the boat right over, and uh, you know, you know, just hop right into uh, House of Blues. And uh, you know, have a great meal. And uh, the the food is something that we there's, you know there's something on this menu that we all will like. And uh, you know, so but you know that's what we're hoping. That's the reason why we chose this place. Plus, how it's it's House of Blues. Um, I love the House of Blues. I love the whole. I love the way it looks and um, everything. I I you know I get a chance to kind of listen to the music, but I I've never eaten in there. And uh, I'm really I'm excited to uh, you know you know to check that out. Now, what I like on the online menu, I, of course, I went through the online menu, and these are just my personal tastes, you know, so, you know, take it for what it is. They have everything. Uh, it's a lot of southern food, jambalaya and the like, so, the one, you know, some of the things that I like are uh, the cornbread, which uh, just seems really awesome because it's like jalapeno cheddar cornbread. Uh, jambalaya, you know, that seems like an option. The buttermilk fried chicken sounds delicious. Um, and pretty much just about every sandwich that they listed there seems uh, really good. I love sandwiches and um, you know they have like you know a pulled pork sandwich, pulled beef, brisket because they got that smokehouse right there. Oh, my uncle's gonna love it because they have a turkey leg. It's gonna be great. So uh, basically everybody seems to be gung-ho about going to the House of Blues because the food sounds fantastic. Uh, so needless to say my excitement level Bam, see, look, Cool New Meter is way up there, and, uh, you know, I'm really excited to check this out. This is one of the more, uh, you know, ex this is one of the ones that I'm more excited to actually, you know, try out. Um, I've always wanted to go to the House of Blues, and now I will finally be able to. So, awesome. The Crossroads at the House of Blues. The Crossroads is the restaurant section of the House of Blues section, or uh, uh, area. So, awesome. Cool. Now, we're going to move on to one that's not as not as big as the House of Blues, but still something that I want to uh, experience while I'm down there. And that's the ABC Commissary in Disney's Hollywood Studios on Commissary Lane. Now, here's what Disney says it is. Yeah, it's a feast on fair with international flair. Okay. The alliteration there. There you go. Asian salad with chicken, burgers, sandwiches, desserts, and more amid an art deco setting that features... Film posters from past and present, all while movie trailers play on TVs. Beer and wine are also available. So there you go. <clears throat> now the book, the unofficial guide gave it, a, they, they, there wasn't an, an official review in there. They kind of just said the food was fair and, um, or the, the, you know, the expense was fair. The food was a B minus. Uh, and they just kind of said something along the lines of you're bound to find something in here. Uh, this is one of the main eateries in Disney's Hollywood Studios. Uh, but there's a lot of different other eateries there. They have the, the Hollywood, the Hollywood and Vine. There's the the Hollywood Brown Derby. Uh, you know, Min and Bill's Dockside Diner. And then there's this one, which is the main one. Uh, this is basically where you kind of can go and eat, find something, and sit down and eat in an air conditioned setting. They recently took out the back lot uh, Express, which I think they're uh, I think might wind up driving a lot of traffic to this. Uh, but there are, are two other restaurants that I plan on going to in uh, 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 Hollywood Studios that I want to at least just go into to see. Um, so don't worry, 
but that's going to be in a whole different uh, episode. Um, now the main features are there's actually there's actually nothing on this on the Disney website that has like different special features to this. It's just a basic uh, kind of quick service, sit down and eat real quick, and then go you know you, you know sort of situation. There's nothing too fancy about this place. Uh, now the reason why I chose this place is because I went I, I went here once when I was a kid and I just kind of wanted to go back just to kind of see what it's all about. You know, not every restaurant I want to go to is going to be a giant fancy one, uh, that, you know, because they're, you know, because you've got to, one, they're expensive, and two, this is, you know, this seems to be more along the lines of something I would just run in, grab some food real quick, and then go. Uh, so, yeah. the uh, Now, what I like on the menu is they have a chicken club sandwich, a bacon cheeseburger, and a chocolate mousse. That also seems pretty good. Uh, they have a lot of other healthier options as well, but, um, you know, I'm on my vacation, and I'm going to be eating some uh, some good food. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the, my excitement level is uh, just kind of whatever, meh. It is, it's, you know, it's okay. It's not it's not bad. It's not good. This seems to be just kind of an average place. Um, there are other places that I'm... Not, I, I, I'm not going to say I'm not looking forward to going because I am, but my excitement level for it isn't going to be as big as, say, a House of Blues. So, uh, yeah, but the ABC commissary, just kind of a meh. You know, it's it's average stuff. And uh, I just, I, I went there when I was a kid. I want to see what it's all about now, see if I still like it or uh, if I don't. But we'll find out, right? Next year, we'll find out. And now, a random Disney fact with File 91E. The Telegraph Office in Disneyland's New Orleans Square is sending the first two sentences of Walt Disney's opening day speech. And that was a random Disney fact with file 91e okay the third uh place that i want to uh try out you know, you know the third place i want to talk about today uh is the diamond horseshoe on uh, li in liberty square or frontier land depending on where you you know think you are it's technically labeled frontier land in the magic kingdom now what disney says it is it's uh, hit the trail for heaping helpings of an of a classic american fair made fast so you can head back out to the open range. Heaping helpings, that's a, uh, really extending that there. The book says uh, nothing about it. Uh, there really is literally nothing in this book about the Diamond Horseshoe. I have no idea why. Either that or it's not listed anywhere. I've tried to look. I haven't I haven't seen it, so whatever. Um, the main features, uh, they, there used to be a show that went along with the food uh, the Diamond Horseshoe used to actually feature the Diamond Horseshoe Review, uh, but that really kind of went the way of the dodo in 2003, and they never really, um, uh, you know, came back. Uh, it used to be kind of a place where you would see Woody and Jesse and all the uh, kind of frontier Toy Story pals. Uh, then they, that kind of, you know, crapped out, and then they came back with food and everything like that. And um, so, yeah, it excellent old time saloon theme is another, is another thing that they're kind of you know, putting over with it now the reason why i chose this place is because i had a really fantastic time in the golden horseshoe uh in disneyland and i want to go you know come here to kind of give a fair comparison uh it seems to be just about the same although the seating might be a little different um it would be great if there was a show um i am kind of you know kind of bummed out that there was there, there isn't a show that kind of knocked it down a lot in my excitement uh, you know, to go here, but uh, still, it's, uh, you know, it, it's very great, you know, they're wasting a stage, but the stage looks nice, it's a really, you know, you know, you know seemingly a great place to go into, so naturally I want to check it out so I can compare the Golden Horseshoe with the Diamond Horseshoe, uh, so yeah, now what I like on this menu, it's very limited, they have like two things, uh, but the only thing that I like is the barbecued turkey sandwich, which seems to be actual turkey, so that's actually pretty cool. So my excitement level for this went from a 4 down to a 2 when I realized there was no show with it. Uh, but I'm still going to go in here nonetheless to check it out and um, see what it's all about. Uh, hopefully it's still there when I get down. I don't know, this, this place seems to um, be going up and down and up and down. I don't know. And finally, the last thing that I want to talk to you about today, the last restaurant that uh, uh, I want to talk to you about today, I still have like a couple more in the weeks to come, uh, is the Be Our Guest restaurant. That's right, the Be Our Guest restaurant located in Fantasyland or New Fantasyland in the Magic Kingdom. 
Now here's what Disney says it is. Uh, step inside Beast's Enchanted Castle for a delicious quick service breakfast or lunch uh, or an unforgettable sit down dinner. Uh, the book says four stars, very expensive. They also went into, into a lot of detail with, about it, but I'm not gonna read it here. I mean, buy the book. Um, the main features of this place, uh, they have three different dining locations in this little Beast Castle area. They have the ballroom, which I'm sure everybody wants. Uh, the castle gallery and then the west wing uh, they also serve breakfast lunch and dinner like the thing said and uh, you can actually purchase um, extra experiences if you're uh, if you have a princess and she wants to come and enjoy uh, her stuff you uh, can get a uh, different things that are set on your table for when you come uh, you know they set your table you sit down and like oh my god check this out that's really neat uh, so awesome stuff there so check out the disney websites to see what extra stuff you can ch have for your uh for your little princess there or you know whatever uh now the reason why i chose this place is because it's new and i want to see what all the fuss is about um i hear you have to book early so uh we're not quite out at 180 days yet but i do plan on booking as soon as my 180 day window is uh, is in and uh, we'll just have to see you know what it's all about um i hear it's really good i hear it's really you know just you know well themed and um, I figure, why not? You know, it doesn't normally seem like my cup of tea, unfortunately, Mrs. Potts. Um, but I want to see it just so I can at least have something to review. And who knows? I might wind up really enjoying it. And uh, you know, and uh, I hear I, I, again, like I've heard so many, you know, so many good things that's got me really excited. So um, what I like on the online menu, they got the uh, open-faced bacon and egg sandwich. If we're going for breakfast, I'm not sure if we're going for breakfast or for lunch. We're not going for dinner. Um, now for lunch, I, I see they have the carved turkey sandwich, which seems pretty cool. That's a lot of French food, and I'm not a big French guy. I don't know why. I'm just not a big French food eater. Uh, but the thing I, the main thing I want to try out, I want to try to go for lunch, is because I want to try the Master's cupcake, which has the gray stuff. Because I hear it's delicious. Um, I was told to ask the dishes because uh, I didn't believe them. Moving on. So yeah, what is my excitement level for this? Uh, definitely a five. I mean, or a five. Uh, it's full bar. I'm really excited for this. I want to see what this is all about. And um, I just can't wait to get down there and uh, really, you know, get my nose into this stuff and uh, taste some you know hopefully good food and uh, I'll be able to come back and give you guys proper ratings and whatnot uh, and we'll see if my predictions hold up or my excitement is is you know justified for this stuff so uh, be our guest restaurant really excited for that so yeah there you go four restaurants that uh, and uh, food or food experiences that I do want to uh, go right, you know, while down in uh, Disney World when I go down in October. I have a bunch more. I think it's, what, 12 more left? And uh, we'll just have to see. I mean, we, we, we haven't even touched, you know, the Animal Kingdom or any of the, uh, the uh, you know, the dessert packages that they have for the firework shows. I do want to see some of them. So uh, stay tuned in the coming weeks uh, to uh, um, see what I want to... Uh, you know you know do just check the description box because i don't think i can fit it all in the title it'll just say uh uh you know 2016 vacation you know restaurant predictions or something so you know in the title but in the in the description i'll sh I'll, I'll itemize which ones i'm talking about that day or not so yeah awesome well i hope you guys enjoyed this week's disney news and reviews again um, I'm going down to Disney, so awesome stuff there. Foodie February all this month. M I mentioned, uh, you know, for Merchandise March, which is next month, obviously, uh, you know, if, if there's anything that you would like to, uh, you know, like me to review, I have a couple things already, um, but uh, I still have a lot of slots left open for other things to review. Um, you know, we'll just have to see how that goes. Have to see how that goes. Um, yeah, if anybody from Disney is watching, please don't sue me. I want people to go to Disney World and have a great time. The whole reason I'm doing Foodie February, or even this, just to have people go down there and have fun. And especially Foodie February, go to the restaurants. Disney has some crazy cool restaurants that I'm really excited for. Uh, you know, you know, regardless, 
uh, you know, of, of, you know, all the hype or whatever. And uh, I just can't wait to get down there and check those restaurants out. And if you are going to Disney World or Disneyland, be sure to go to allers.net, touringplans.com, wdwmagic.com for all your latest and greatest Disney news. WaltDisneyWorld.com is good too, and so is Disneyland.com. Now for uh, Disneyland news, I go to Mice Chat. That's where I get my Disneyland news from, so check that website out as well. So yeah, I will see you guys next week for another Disney news and reviews. Um, I, I'm filming this on on Friday night, so tomorrow night I'm actually headed to uh, to the Disney on Ice treasure uh, treasure trove here in Baltimore. So um, I might have a bonus video or check out my file under any Facebook page if I post some uh, you know, pictures and whatnot. Or maybe just maybe I haven't been doing this lately. Follow me on Periscope, and uh, I might do some live stuff there with um, you know with the Periscope. So awesome stuff there. So I'll see you guys next week. Second round of uh, Walt Disney World restaurant predictions. Bye, guys.